In this video, I am going to demonstrate some of the greatest free contact libraries out there. Instruments like pianos, strings, as well as world instruments. And the first library I would like to show you is the Free Orchestra from Project Sam. It's a very renowned company making cinematic instruments. It's a very high quality library. The strings are amazing. Some sounds are a little bit weirder. But some are really worth your attention. So for some very cinematic sounds, check out the Project Sam Free Orchestra. Now there's another orchestra that is worth your attention and it's called the Alpine Project. I just tried some theme from a very known show, but this is different from the Project Sam library as this is a less known library, not made by a big company. The sounds are not extremely professional, but they are definitely usable. There's basses, cellos, violins and viola, so the basic strings section. And uh, we have the brass section and the woodwind section. It's absolutely enough to make an orchestral track. It's uh, obviously not all there is in an orchestra, but it's uh, definitely usable, especially in scoring, but also in electronic music, all kinds of music, really. Let's go through some other alternative options for pianos. Uh, a popular option is uh, the Amore Grand Piano. Maybe let's just add a tiny bit of reverb. It's a very nice uh, dynamic library. It's a little bit fuller sounding than uh, what we had from Contact Factory Library. I really like this piano. But another one is from a developer called Ivy Audio and the library is called Piano in 162. And uh, this is what it sounds like. Let's turn out the effects for now. It's even more dynamic, I would say. You can obviously narrow down the dynamics of your keyboard with the velocity instrument in Ableton Live, but other than that, this is a very useful, great sounding piano library. Now there's some other libraries that are uh, free from IV Audio and also very usable. There's a trombone, there's a solo vocalist, and other than the piano, there's also a drums instrument. All of these are just amazing. Let me demonstrate the trombone first. And I'm not even using any effects here. It just sounds very, very professional. Check out the solo vocalist and the drums library too. Really recommend this one. Now, there's a very cool developer who makes guitars and they're called Pettenhaus Audio. One library that stands out to me is uh, the acoustic guitar. Even without the effects, it's amazing.
you can really hear the detailed sampling here. You can hear the fret noises, the release noises. It just sounds amazing. Now there's some other stuff here. Very beautiful classical guitar. I really encourage you to check this out. There's some keyboards also from this developer, but the guitars really, really stand out. So that's the electric guitar, also sounds amazing. Now let's check out another interesting developer, or maybe that's only a list of instruments. It comes from a website called Big Cat Instruments, and it's a really big collection of sounds. There's some really cool gems inside mm, this collection. The full list of my picks is over at our website. You should find the link in the description, but I'm going to show you just some examples. There's a really good upright piano included. I'm just playing some random chords, but this is really detailed, really warm. There's some really cool finds in here. For example, some world instruments uh, like the Sansa. We also have this beautiful instrument. You can go through the list at Bicket Instruments or you can download our PDF with a selection of these sounds and you will find also in their links directly to the download. The last library I would like to show you is the Contact Factory library. It is already very popular, but if you are not yet familiar with it, I would like you to get to know it as it includes a lot of very useful instruments. Let me quickly demonstrate the grand piano from Contact Factory library. I have some effects loaded up here, but these sound great even without any effects. Now, let's see what else we have. Factory library is divided between seven sections. There's a band section, which includes the most basic instruments. There's a choir section and then orchestral section. There's a synth section, which I don't use a lot, but it's there. There's the urban beats section with some drum samples. There's the vintage section with some great drum machines and some vintage instruments, especially this mini Moog. And the most interesting section is the world section, which includes a lot of very interesting sounds, very cool oriental flutes, uh, there's some recorder sounds, reeds, bagpipes, uh, very cool string instruments, some metal phones, some percussion. The kalimba and music box are just amazing. And they can be used in a lot of electronic tracks. So that's the Context Factory library. I really encourage you guys to check this out as it comes with the full version of the VST. Thank you for watching this video. Please support the channel by subscribing and leaving a thumbs up. If you're a beginner and you would like to learn how to produce music in Ableton, feel free to take a look at our beginner's courses. All the links are in the video description and I hope to see you soon.